G'day, Shane here from Mackay Area Productivity Services here. And in today's video, we are looking at how to print your farm reports. So that's for chemical and your nutrient applications. So once you've entered a series of chemical or nutrient applications, to print your reports, you simply want to go to the button at the top left hand corner called Selected Farms. This will show you the farms that you have access to record against. And if you want to report, simply go along the line of the farm you want to print the report for, hover over the little print icon, and currently we have four reports that you can print. We've got a paddock and crop report, which is a basically a breakdown of the varieties planted on your farm. We are working on a nutrient pl plan report or nutrient management plan. And the one, the two that you're interested in for auditing purposes would be your nutrient diary or your spray diary. So if we click on nutrient diary for that farm, this will display, will search for every nutrient application that has occurred on this farm. And if you're watching the, the video into recording nutrients, this is displaying that application we did in that video. So it's showing that on the 9th of the 6th, 2020, the time of that application was three hours. The method was still split subsurface dry. The blend was a Nitro King S product. The composition was as follows. The rate we applied was 580 kilos a hectare. And that gives you the breakdown in kilos of a hectare of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and sulfur. It does give you the variety of that block. So 10 one was 208, fourth and fifth return. And the other block that we fertilized on the same day is listed below as well. So 11 one, again, Nitro King S at 580 kilos a hectare. So if you wanted to filter just on one block, if we just wanted to look at 10 one, you can click on this all paddocks, look for 10 one, Choose 10 one and it'll filter just on that one block. You can also filter on date range. So if we wanted to look further back in time and search for a year's record, we could search back to 2018 if we wanted to. Pressing print on that report, it will print it as an A4 page. We can also print it as a portrait mode to fit more lines of data in there. To look at your chemical reports, it is exactly the same. You can hit this box at the top left hand corner and choose your spray diary. And this will reveal your chemical applications that occurred on this farm. So again, if you watch the video into recording chemicals, this is displaying the record that we recorded in that video. And we recorded, it was a flame and gramoxone brew on the 9th of the 6th, 2020. It has the weather details that we recorded at the time. Uh, the method of application was using a flat boom with nozzles, flood jet nozzles. The operator was myself. It has, displays the actives that occur in each chemical. So in gramoxone, the actives are paraquat. And in flame, the the, the active is Mazepic. So it displays each line or each chemical in that brew as a separate line to that block. And um, that's how you print your nutrient and chemical reports. So pretty simple and easy to get to. Um, again, go to the My Selected Farms button, hover over the little print icon, and you can print your reports for that farm. So that's a quick and simple video into how to print out your chemical and nutrient reports. I hope you had some found this useful and we'll see you in the next video.